السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear student of second secondary We are going to solve the Moasar book Questions of lesson 1 We have a questions Kind ready questions They are for understanding the Lesson in illustration Okay, let's start with page 18 and 19 We will have the first Question number 1 says that Bond in is a physical bond We have two kinds of bond we have a physical and chemical that each one depend on the kind of attraction or kind of behavior in each one we have a physical bond we have just a hydrogen bond is a physical bond but all of them are a an ionic bond okay let's going to question two among the elements a e, nine B 10 and C 11 two elements can they can combine together or okay we have choices B and C B and B A and B A and C okay if we are discussing we have A its electronic configuration 2 and 7 okay we have 7 in the outer okay it's monovalent here we have B 2 and 8 it's inert gas so it will not form a bond we have C 2 8 1 as it is a metal that has only one electron also monovalent so it is a metal here C and A non-metal they will form a bond together kind of it will be ionic bond so the two elements that will combine together will be A and C will be A and C okay this is the right answer let's go into question 3 which of the following compounds has the highest boiling and melting point okay if we said we are discussing the according to the strongest one in the kind of bond which is ionic bond we have the higher one in electronegativity or the difference in electronegativity between metal between me two elements metal and non-metal that giving the highest boiling and highest melting point okay so we have aluminium chloride magnesium chloride sodium chloride a and c together okay if we are discussing we have one of them that present in group 1a in a so that is the right answer in acl that it has a high electronegativity that a compound that has high electronegativity and mgcl2 less and alcl3 will be less than each of them so the highest one in boiling and melting point will be in ACL as it has high big or high or big difference in electronegativity between their elements. Okay, let's go into question four. When two atoms of an element with atomic number nine combine together, okay, atomic number nine, so they have seven in the outer energy level or in the valence shell, so they will make a bond. What? single covalent bond they will make a bond single covalent bond so that there is no difference in electronegativity as it is the same element so it will be a pure covalent bond it will be a pure covalent what covalent bond is formed okay let's go to question five question five says that when two oxygen atoms combine together to form oxygen molecules what will happen okay two oxygen atoms each one has in the valence shell six electrons so it need to share with two electrons from each atom or each atom share with a pair of electrons as we say we have a choices here each atom share by one electron to form covalent bond no one atom gives two electron to the other no we have C each atom shared by a pair of electrons yes it is the right answer here a polar covalent bond is formed no so each atom shared by a, a pair of electrons and a pure covalent bond will be formed a pure covalent bond to be formed question six is a bond in hydrogen fluoride molecule is a polar covalent bond because the two atoms are different in if we can make a covalent bond or any kind of bond depending on the difference in electronegativity so 
we have their location in the periodic table no electron affinity no electron negativity it is the right answer ionization potential no so we have the kind of energy that we can compare between them we have the difference big difference in electron negativity between what between fluorine and the hydrogen so it is a polar covalent bond depending on the difference in electron negativity let's go to question 7 question 7 says that the partial positive charge okay is put above the right of okay we have a choices here less electronegative atom in polar molecule positive ion more electronegative atom in polar molecule negative ion okay we said we have positive or negative ion it not belongs to the what the ionic uh, not belongs to covalent okay we have on the metals that we have a positive ion so it will know that we have a um, positive ion that loses electrons so that it carry a positive protons greater than the negative electron so it will carry a positive charge only negative ion carry a negative ion as it gain electrons and it will be have the number of negative electrons greater than the number of positive protons so it carry negative only according to the number of gained electrons but if we have partial partial means that we make a what a covalent bond but we have one greater in electronegative and one less in electronegative okay when we have the least one in electronegative least one in electronegative that make a participation but with less activity so it will be attracted from the most electronegative that has the greatest number of electrons that has the greatest number of electrons so the most electronegative will be has the greatest one of electrons or the strongest one that attract the bond to get to its side but on the other side the one that carry negative or partial negative charge that has the less atom in a polar molecule less atom so it will be the weak one the weak one with less electrons so carrying partial negative carry the most electrons and carry partial negative or partial carry partial negative carry the most electrons and carry partial positive carries the less number in electrons so partial positive will be on the least electronegative less or the one that has a number less in electronegativity in the molecule of the compound this is the last question of the group of choice let's go to another kind of questions okay we have here concerning the bonds that we are studying we have we wanted to determine the number of questions about the type of chemical bond we have the determine the type of chemical bond in the following molecules we have different molecules six one that we will we want to know the kind of bond in each compound we have the first one and uh, we have the electronegativity in the elements forming these compounds we have number one potassium chloride kcl kcl is difference in electronegativity we take the biggest minus the smallest 3 minus 0 0.8 it will give 2.2 it will be ionic bond with highest electronegativity and high melting point and boiling point okay let's going to question 2 2 and O difference between them 3.5 minus 3 will give 0 0.5 it will be a polar covalent bond the third one here we have S and O2 the difference between them 3.5 we take one of each atom 3.5 minus 2.5 give one polar covalent one is a polar covalent okay we have numbers th number four HCl 3 minus 2.1 equal 0 0.9 will be also polar covalent bond we have number five calcium oxide CaO the difference between them 3.5 minus 1 
will give 2.5 and it is highest ionic bond okay and we have the last one here cal chlorine molecule cl2 difference between them will be zero a pure covalent bond if we make a comparing between them we have the highest ionic bond will be calcium oxide and the least one will be calcium potassium chloride here 2.2 and according to polar we have the highest one in polarity will be high hcl has polar covalent greater less than it nitrogen oxide and less than it what less than it will be the we have 0 0.9 we have the first one so2 one and the least so1 so2 followed by hcl the greatest one so2 followed by hcl followed by no and the last one will be the pure covalent cl2 it is the least one in the polarity as it is a pure covalent bond okay so they are the kind of questions this is the end of our question today okay i hope you enjoy this kind of question today it's easy and simple you can connect us with any way of communication if you have any questions please leave them below the video okay this is the first lesson and the ready question we will solve also the MCQ questions. I hope you enjoy this kind. Okay. Good luck and goodbye.